Hey guys, it's Misty from The Book Rat, and this is my book haul for this week. Um, it's a small week this week, so I'm also going to do a hell of a Halloween update. But first, the book haul. I only have three books this week, um, and I say only three, like that's not still kind of an exorbitant amount of books to have in one week, because if you do that every week for a year, that's a little out of control. I started to say that they were all for review this week, and that I didn't buy any, and I was going to be all proud of myself, and then I remembered that I did buy one, so... I bought Thursday Next, First Among Sequels by Jasper Ford. This is not First Among Sequels, it's the fifth book. Um, I've only read the first one, so it was silly of me to buy the fifth book, but I found it hardcover really, really cheap, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then for review, I got Everybody Sees the Ants by A.S. King. I did a review of Dust of a Hundred Dogs earlier this year and loved it. I've included it in um, my book pushing video and my cover trends video. So I was super excited about this one. I believe this one's very different from Dust of a Hundred Dogs. This is more straightforward contemporary as far as I know, but I really liked A.S. King's writing, so I'm looking forward to this. I believe it comes out in November. Might be late October. The Mephisto Covenant by Trinity Fagan. Allison is gonna laugh when she sees this in my IMM because I love her review, and we've talked about her review. She compares the Mephisto Covenant to Twilight and says that the Mephisto Covenant is Twilight if Stephanie Meyer were a porn star instead of a Mormon, which is my favorite line from a review ever. Um, and that shouldn't make me want to read the book, but it did make me want to read the book, so <laughs> I'm intrigued by that line. But, um, yeah, this one came for review from Egmont and is for Hell of a Halloween, so it'll probably be up at the end of this month. Um, hopefully I can squeeze it because it's been kind of crazy. So, those were the books in my mailbox this week. I'm going to give you a little update on the Hell of a Halloween stuff on the blog, just in case you haven't traveled over yet. So, so far for the month, I've had reviews up of Drinks Lay Love by Sarah Beth Durst. I also have an interview with Sarah Beth. Clarity by Kim Harrington, and I have an interview with Kim. The Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. If you haven't read my review of The Carrier of the Mark yet, allow me to tease you with the fact that I made a chart for it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu, and there is an interview up with Anne. And then going up today on the blog is my review of Anna Dressed in Blood by Ken Dare Blake. There is an interview with Ken Dare, and if you read none of the other interviews this month, make sure you read that one because it's awesome. There is also a giveaway of Anna Dressed in Blood. This weekend I'll be posting my review of Red Velvet and Absent. There is a giveaway of this up. I have excerpts up of Witch Song by Amber Argyle, The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab, and Liesl and Poe by Lauren Oliver. I also have a giveaway up for a mystery box of books and swag, so make sure you check that one out. It is international. The link to the main schedule, which has the links to everything else, is going to be in the down bar below. And that's all in the first two weeks of the month, so there's plenty more coming. I think most of the giveaways are actually in the second half of the month. Lots of cool stuff coming up, so I hope you check it out. Also, on the update front, I did have a lot planned for this month, and was really looking forward to a lot of it, but where I work, there are three people that do my job, me and two other people. Those two people are off on medical leave, <laughs> so my hours have kind of gone insane at work, and I don't think I'm going to be able to fit everything in review-wise that I wanted to do for the month, so I might have to cut some of the books that are just my own, that weren't for review, and that I don't have interviews for. I'll try to do excerpts of them instead, but just fair warning, I might have to cut a few for this month at least, and I'm sorry about that. But between Hell of a Halloween and work, I am this close to losing it. So I thought I'd give you a heads up. Anyway, that's my IMM and my Hell of a Halloween update. I hope you'll all stop by and try to win some stuff and give the authors some love in the interviews and read my reviews if you have the time and desire. And I will see you next week.